ಸರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಾವಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾ ವಿಷ್ಠಾವಹೈ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಉಪದೇಶ ಸಾರ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಪೋಸ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಶ್ರೀ ರಮಣ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ it fits into a certain epic that a certain poet muruganar wrote over there in the larger canvas of that epic lord shiva instructs a bunch of people who are very scholarly highly disciplined very well informed eminent in their own ways but they had a certain limitation in their understanding they thought work or action is everything there is to life and shiva wanted to convey to them that the highest spiritual wisdom is not karma but jnana karma is certainly good on a certain level to number one bless us with many rewards in this temporal life and number two to bring about inner purification as regards the ultimate goal of human life which is liberation no amount of karma can ever bring to us mukti this was intended to be conveyed but taking that opportunity lord shiva gives to those ritualists a complete panoramic comprehensive understanding of all the spiritual paths yesterday in the first class in this five class series we took a look at how ramana maharshi putting the words in the mouth of lord shiva to fit into that epic narration expresses the nuts and bolts of karma yoga this evening in this second session we start with the fourth shloka that is where maharshi ramana takes us to the second celebrated discipline of hinduism which is called bhakti yoga please read 4 and 5 with me or following me kaya vangmana karya muttamam ಪೂಜನಂ ಜಪಿಂತ ಕ್ರಮ ಕಾಯವಾನ್ಮನ ಕಾರ್ಯಮುತ್ತಮ ಪೂಜನ ಜಪ ಚಿಂತನ ಕ್ರಮ ಜಗತ ಈಷಧೀ ಯುಕ್ತ ಸೇವನ ಅಷ್ಟಮೂರ್ತಿ ಬೃಹತ್ ದೇವಪೂಜನ ಜಗತ ಈಷಧೀ ಯುಕ್ತ ಸೇವನ ಅಷ್ಟಮೂರ್ತಿ ಬೃಹತ್ದೇವಪೂಜನ ರೈಟ್ ಅವೇ ವಿದೌಟ್ ಡೆಲಿ ಡೈಲಿ ಮಹರ್ಷಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ತ್ರೀ major categories of the program 
in devotion. Devotion to God has been recognized in almost all the great religions. I add almost because one or two religions like Buddhism and Jainism do not have the concept of God at all. Otherwise, Eastern and Western religions, Hinduism, Sikhism and so on in the East and Christianity, Islam, Judaism, etc. in the West have all talked of God and a human being's relation to God. Devotion to God is celebrated as an eminent way of rising above our narrow attachments to worldly ways. We think the world is causing suffering to us. The spiritual science clarifies that actually it is our attachment to the world that is causing suffering. There was a man who was holding a tree tightly and shouting for help. Save me, save me. Then somebody has to tell him, you are holding the tree. The tree is not holding you. Let go. Who is that man? Every one of us. Every one of us is like that man. On the surface it seems that it is family, it is some business, it is some friends, it is some involvement in some social activity, in some hobby, in some social service, in something which may look materialistic or sometimes it may look highly altruistic. We think that I am not doing anything for myself, it is all for others. I am running an orphanage, I am running a school for the poor, this or that. But scratch the surface, with due respect to all that service you are doing, there is necessarily a significant component in your relationship with that school or orphanage or family or whoever. It is a significant part of it where you feel a sense of identity. I am somebody, as long as I am the secretary of this orphanage, where 1,000 children are being fed and educated. If I step aside, I will be nobody. There is a fear. I tell you, between us, even philosophers and wonderful speakers like me sometimes have a panic. If nobody attends our classes, where will we go? It's a joke and yet it is human thought. Really speaking, you don't have to depend on your family or social service or this or that. Someone like me doesn't have to depend on lectures and people attending to our lectures. This is all branti. All of us can live happily, spontaneously, without worrying about tomorrow. We give what we have with us to whoever can receive. And then the law of life is such, when we give, a lot will come to us. In Bhakti Yoga it is expressed slightly differently. Love God and leave everything to Him and God will take care of you. Ananyas Chintayanto Maam Ye Jana Par Yupasate Chapter 9 of Bhagavad Gita Tesham Nithya Vyukta Naam Yoga Kshemam Vahamyaham If someone loves me, says Lord Krishna, constantly, without a break, steadily, single-pointedly, then I take care of their yoga kshema. Yoga is whatever they need to get, I will get it for them. I will do the errands for them. 
and whatever they need to retain, they already have and they don't want to lose, I will ensure that they won't lose. That is Kshema. Yoga Kshema Bahamyaham. And interestingly, Bhakti Yoga is another very confirmed, testified, verified, time-tested, I should say, way to the highest goal. Maharshi Ramana himself, upon being asked, what is spirituality summarily, said it is either inquire or surrender. Inquire is going to come as the fourth path in this text, self-inquiry. In broader terms, that is called Jnana Marga, the path of wisdom. Surrender is one word for this Bhakti Yoga. And now, under Bhakti, under this banner of devotion, there are countless practices under the sun, go to pilgrimage, observe various vows, do hundred kinds of puja, worship, do a hundred if not more kinds of upasana, use so many symbols, use so many forms of God, all of them put together and expressed in various combinations and permutations is simply into many, many thousands of ways. But broadly speaking, you name it, what your grandmother used to do, what your father used to do and what you are today doing, whatever your neighbors are doing, what Christians are doing, what Muslims are doing in the name of their worship or prayer to God, Put them all together, they belong to these three categories. Kaya Vangmana Karyam. And this is a technical expression. Kaya is body, Vak is speech, Manaha is thought or mind. There are things under the banner of various religions, there are things which involve all these three body, speech and mind. Then there are things which involve speech and mind. And then there are things which involve only the mind. Therefore, if you call them body, speech and mind, number three, number two and number one. I call the body number three because that is the grossest, very visible. Speech is a little subtle, sukshma. Mind is the subtlest. So give mind place number one. Three, two, one. Body, speech and mind. All the three are involved in a number of things we do. For example, pujanam. This shloka says, pujanam japaha chintanam kramat. Pujanam, of course, literally means Ritualistic worship. I should once more say this ritualistic worship itself is of hundreds of kinds. What is involved, gestures, samagri, material that you use. And priests know, generally you and I don't know much about them. We don't know that Shiva, you know, we know basic Shiva like certain bilwa leaves. Sri Krishna likes Tulasi leaves. Somebody else with less knowledge than even us, the priests have much more, we have some knowledge and some others have, they would mix up everything. They would put Bilva leaves on Krishna's head and Tulasi leaves at Shiva's feet. And instead of giving Abhisheka to Lord Shiva, they will put it on another form of God, all mixed up. So, Leave aside those details. They say the devil is in the details. <laughs> Leave the details to the devil. But broadly, wherever there is some spiritual activity, 
where not only in the ritualistic puja, in some other form of spiritual activity. For example, you do pradakshina, going round a hill, a holy hill, or going round the garbhagraha, sanctum sanctorum in a temple. The body is involved. Somewhere else, you face a holy place and do prostration. The body is involved. Where the body is involved, and at that time you may mutter some mantra or some shloka or some namaha. Speech is involved. And when it is properly done, the mind has to be involved. Though our mind runs away sometimes. We are doing prostration, sashtanga namaskara. Our mind is wondering, did I lock my house? <laughs> or at a temple sometimes our mind is, are my shoes safe over there? The new ones I bought just yesterday and so 